Hi, this is Dave with CNH Auto Accessories. We are here at the Keystone Big Show in Colorado, and I am at the Diodynamics booth. If you guys have ever looked into lighting, this is one of the top manufacturers in lighting. They have a bunch of cool stuff. I'm here with Paul. He's going to talk about it. We got some new products, some stuff that you might have seen. So he's going to give us a quick rundown on everything that Diodynamics has. Uh, so, Paul, I'll give you the mic. And I know we were talking earlier, this is one of your most popular things that just came out. That's right, thanks David. Uh, this is our hitch mount LED, so it's based on our C1 little tiny off-road pod. This thing packs a huge amount of power into this little guy here. Um, but what's great about this is as you can see, that you got that running light, you have a fourth brake light feature with that flash. Now if you don't want it, you can just snip a wire, no more flash, and it'll just be brake. But it's nice to get some extra attention, and of course, adding a huge amount of reverse light as well. The one thing that makes this really neat is this uh, patent pending design here that snaps right into place. So the whole installation just snaps in that click and it'll be stick, staying in your receiver until you just need to pop it out and actually tow. The wiring is also simple with just this little inline adapter on the back of your seven pin, plugs right in and that's as simple as it gets. You know, the installation really is five minutes. Uh, this is $160 retail for the whole package with the harness. Um, it's just a great extra add-on to see some more behind your vehicle and to get some more visibility, safety with that fourth brake plate feature. And we feature. were talking to make sure if if you guys have the GM, look, there's specific ones for the GM. This used to say universal, but the newer trucks have some issues. And I was talking to Paul. They do have a harness for GM guys. So give us a call. Make sure we're getting you the right one before you order something and then it's setting off trailer warnings. Yeah, that's right. I mean, this is going to work for even the Fords, no problem. Um, but the newer GM and Chevy, they got their uh, theft detection, little blinking with the trailer detection system. But we got the harness for it. You know, it's going to be convenient. It's going to work for you still. You might just need a slightly different harness. So that's an exciting one for the show here today. From there, we've got our new rock lights um, that are finally now in production. Uh, so we're excited about this. The great thing about these rock lights is that we have these interchangeable lenses on these, but you really don't even need the lens to keep them sealed. They're fully encapsulated, which is definitely the most important thing when it comes to rock lights. We want to make sure that they're going to be uh, long lasting. Again, that eight year warranty on these, but they're fully encapsulated and waterproof. So vibration, wear and tear, um, if they get submerged when you're on the trail, no problem. That's sealed as it is. From there though, you can go ahead and put your lenses on top. Um, to kind of complete that appearance, whether it's a clear one to get your white or to get your different colors. Uh, one nice thing about these as well is that, you know, if you have the red on there, uh, it becomes extra useful because this is a three wire system. So we have a low and high, high power wire. So whether you have an extra um, red light on the rear of your off-road rig running and then brake tied into that, or you just have your, you know, amber or white set up as a scene light um, for the campsite, um, you might just want to turn that to the lower power mode. Maybe you don't need this full thousand lumens of output from that white. It's really, really bright um, when fully on. I see you guys have a magnet here. How strong is that magnet? That's the question I get when I'm doing rock lights. How strong is that magnet? Right. I mean, so our engineers do all the like the pound ratings, but it's really more like like shock force. If you like drop at it, you know, it's like jumping versus like holding something up. Um, we have. I can. I wish I knew the spec. It's a neodymium magnet. I can tell you it's not cheap. So a strong magnet. Yeah, neodymium. It's, it, and it is molded in there, which is nice too. You can see it's not even exposed, so that's going to not corrode or anything over, over time. I mean, it's going to hold on there pretty well. I mean, it depends on the type of trail riding you're doing. If you know you're going to be bouncing off some crazy obstacles, probably best to screw it down. If this is, I mean, but I have this on my Jeep riding around, no problem for, uh, you know, smoother stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those new things that has yeah. come out as magnets. We've had guys come in, hey, I saw there's some rock lights available with magnets. How yeah. strong are they if I just want to put them on my frame? Right. You know? they're, they're, I mean, they're strong enough. And what I like about it then is if you wire it like this, like on a bed rack or something, you can move those around if you need them in different places in your that's campsite. That's what I was thinking. You, know, you, know, you guys get the rhino racks or something like that. Exactly. We can make this work for you. Now you got some movable lights on there. Yeah. And then... We'll go talk about the big wall of stuff you got here. Yeah. These are really great rock lights. Really nice rock lights. Yeah, thanks. And, yeah, we got those other options as well. Um, angle mounts off the side of a trailer or, you know, uh, RV or something. Just really great accessory lights. Uh, and then also that roll bar mount as well. Uh, and, yeah, the last things we got, our new stuff at the show here, of course, our whole line of off-road uh, lights. But uh, we just started production, started shipping out our new JL lights. Uh, these are really the only, like, mass production aftermarket headlights 
even made in the US that are application specific. So you have some seven inch lights, but otherwise these are the only ones that are actually assembled in the US. And for that reason, they are a premium option. They do outperform the factory LED, which is getting harder to do. The factory LEDs are pretty good. But these are gonna throw more light, wider spread, really nice output pattern. Now on these two, we got a programmable DRL feature. So we got our two different options. This one has the extra uh, DRL bars, we call them. That's gonna actually be a compliant turn signal. So if you chop your fenders, it's a great upgrade to have that signal again. And uh, from inside the vehicle, you can actually just program it to change the color of the DRL. So whether you want white or amber, um, I actually have a JL. It's probably might be why we did these first. Um, but I run, I ran amber last week. You know, I switched it to white before I came uh, up to the show here. Just nice to change it up once in a while. And again, no switch. You just program that using your steering wheel, it, or sorry, not your steering wheel, your headlight switch. Flip it three times, hit your high beam, and that'll change the mode. Um, this also has a welcome feature, so they're a little bit different. But uh, you can see kind of a nice a gradual fade through those. Um, and that's when you unlock, not when you start it. So you actually see it. You walk up to the Jeep, you hit unlock, you're going to see that whole sequence. It's just a nice extra feature. And then this guy, the top model, also has off-road lights, the top and bottom reflectors. That's going to be kind of a floodlight, extra light on the trail. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. I've, I've been able to get out uh, and off-road with these. I've had them on, installed on my Jeep for about eight months now. Gotten out a handful of times. I mean, obviously, if you need to shine far, you got your high beam. But if you're going low on the trail, you don't want to blind people. The trail light is a great way just to shine extra light all around to make that happen. Um, so a lot of features with these. Uh, we also have our new F-150s that are starting production in April. Really excited about those. Even more integrated off-road lighting and other features with these. Uh, then we have our Elite series of fog lights, which is that kind of OEM style. But as you can see, we've got that backlight feature. Again, just kind of stepping it up a little bit. That's kind of just like an extra running light. Just a little extra light to give it a distinct kind of clearance look with that amber LED. And from there, of course, we got our whole series of off-road, eight-year warranty. Um, whether you, you know, our popular fog light kits, road legal, SAE compliant, huge spread of light. That's always the first upgrade I recommend because it shines way more light to the very sides of the road. It's, it's just great for safety to have light out that far. Um, as you can see, that amber backlight on those as well. And then our bigger guys here that you can then link together to build some stuff to put on your grill or above your windshield. Um, got a couple kits for those. Uh, our new uh, Tundra kit has been really popular for the new Tundra. Um, and yeah, just all heavy duty stuff, torture tested, design engineered, assembled in St. Louis. Um, it's just good stuff, you know? I saw a lot of these on the trucks and I know these are gonna be, so can you talk about these super small ones? I've seen them as ditch lights and stuff like that. Is that what they were yeah, we designed have, for? We have, we, I mean, these are great. I mean, they, we have different mounting options that come with that U-bracket, but I mean, we even have a GoPro mount for these. So it really is designed just for a more utility light. If that rock light's not gonna provide the focused light that you need, this is a great way of just adding light. But these are no slouch for performance. Like the top, we have two different options. We got our Sport and Pro, either 10 watt or 20 watt light. And 20 watts in this tiny package is just a huge amount of power. Um, as you can see, you can choose your backlight color. Um, but it's really popular to basically mount these as your ditch light, get your forward projecting light with the driving to shine down road. And then you can hang one of these off the side in that flood pattern to, to light up when you actually need to see a lot more light to the side of the vehicle. So combining what you need, again, having it all consistent with those backlights, it's just a great look overall. Thanks, Paul. And like you said, guys, this, this stuff is made in America, and that's going to be the biggest difference. If you're buying lights like this and you got that super nice, expensive truck, do it right. Buy the stuff that's not going to cause problems, that's going to last a long time. And Dial Dynamics has been around, and they are one of the premium manufacturers when it comes to lights. And anything that you see here, we can get you. We can get you set up. You know, and like I said, I know you guys are going to ask questions because these were on a ton of trucks. They were using them. We can mount these anywhere. We can get you a lighting setup that you like. And like he said, it's all super easy to use. It's nothing super complicated. But we have access to all this stuff. So if you're looking for rock lights or driving lights, you know, the squares are making a comeback that we talked about earlier. Give us a call at the store. We can set you up. We'll talk you through some stuff. Make sure we answer, ask you the right questions and give you the right answers to get lights because lights are super popular. We can get you the right ones. Once again, this is Dave. I'm at the Keystone Big Show out here in Colorado. We are in the Diode Dynamics booth. Once again, thanks for Paul for explaining everything. Thanks. thanks Bye.